So hello again everybody, how's it going? I am Arjun, a pre-final year computer science student from Sastra University, a four-star coder on CodeChef and the president of CodeChef Sastra chapter. Welcome to our channel CodeChef. If you are into comprehensive programming, want to learn data structures, algorithms and master them, this is the one-stop destination for you to learn. So please consider hitting the subscribe button and press the bell icon for the notifications. So without any further ado, let's get started. So today we will be looking at the problem, get AC in one go. This is an easy problem and the prerequisite to solve this are linear Diophantine equation and chicken Magnacket's theorem. So if you are not aware of these, I highly recommend you to go learn this and then come back to this video. So without any further ado, let's get started. So the problem statement goes like this. So you are provided with coins of denomination A and B. You are required to find the least value of N such that all currency values greater than or equal to N can be made using any number of coins of denomination A and B and in any order. If no such number exists, print minus 1 in that case. So what they are trying to say is that you will be given two integers A and B and you need to find the least integer N greater than which all integers m are of the form ax plus by. So for example, if the two integers given are 1 and 6, in this case the least integer that can least positive number that you will be returning, sorry it is not positive number, the least value you will be returning is 0 because all values greater than 0 can be represented in the form 1x plus 6y. So if you are given the number 2 and 4, the answer would be minus 1 in this case because you cannot say strictly there is an n above which all numbers can be represented in the form 2x plus 4y. So I hope you understood the test cases. Now let's see how to approach this problem. So as we know all numbers greater than n that is all numbers m greater than n should be of the form ax plus by. So now let's take this ax1 plus by1. We also know that the next number m plus 1 should also be of this form. So we will write it as m plus 1 equal to ax2 plus by2. So we have two equations in our hand. Now let's try subtracting the first equation from the second one. So in that case we will be getting 1 equals a of x2 minus x1 plus b into y2 minus y1. So this is going to be a linear Diophantine equation. So as you know, a linear Diophantine equation is an equation of the form ax plus by equal to c. And this equation will only have solution if c equals gcd of a comma b. So in this case, we know that c is going to be 1. So we should have GCD of A comma B equals 1. That is A and B should be co-prime numbers. Only then a solution will be possible. So how to find the least value that is N? So according to chicken Magnacket's theorem, if AX plus BY is the form in which some number should be represented, then the largest value N which cannot be represented in this form would be a b minus a minus b. So we are looking for the smallest value greater than or equal to which all values can be represented in this form. So if this is going to be the largest value that cannot be represented in this form, we obviously know that adding 1 will give us the smallest value which can be represented in this form. It is not the smallest value which can be represented. I mean to say this is the smallest value greater than or equal to which all integers Will be, able, will be of the form ax plus by. So the flow of approach will be like, first we check if the GCD of a comma b is going to be equal to 1. If that is true, then we print this as our answer. Otherwise, we will be printing minus 1 as our answer. So I hope you understood this approach. Now let's quickly move on to the C++ code and finally we will be, we will be submitting it on CodeChef. So here is the C++ code for the approach I discussed earlier. So first I get in the number of test cases and for each test case I get in two integers a and b. So if gcd of a comma b is going to be equal to 1, in that case I print 
a b minus a minus b plus 1 as our answer and break the line otherwise i print minus 1 and break the line i hope you understood the c++ code now let's quickly copy it and try submitting it on So that's it for today guys. After watching this tutorial, try to code the solution on your own and submit it on CodeChef. If you understood this tutorial perfectly, please like this video and share it with your friends who are into computer programming. To stay updated, please subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon. You can also stay updated via our telegram group to which the link is in the description below. Thank you. Have a nice day.